We conducted six dialogues in different European cities. We started our one and a half days workshops uh, with getting to know each other, uh, see who is in the room, providing space and time that people can really meet and discuss to see who of the whole ecosystem of this specific uh, medical field uh, is here. So we had different stakeholder groups. We needed to have a common understanding of RRI. And then we really had to, to work together. Uh, we formed little groups, for example, and brainstorms and discussed on challenges, opportunities within the specific field from their different perspectives. And finally then uh, they started discussing ideas, how to improve it or how to implement RRI within their field. And at the end of the day, we, we ended uh, with lists uh, of many ideas uh, for pilot activities. On the next day, uh, we had a, a voting system so people could decide which are the most promising tools and on which tools they would like to work on. And so we selected a few of them and then we asked them to really prototype them. It was a task for them to prototype them with all different kinds of materials. So they used colored papers, they used uh, silk, they had different materials that they really could build tangible objects. The sense of this uh, prototyping is to, to, to make things visible, processes visible, actors visible. Prototypes can be anything, so they can be uh, an interactive game, they, they can be uh, mock-ups. They can be even a, a, a theater play or something like that. So people have no borders how to visualize their ideas for prototypes. At the end of the one and a half days workshops, we had always three prototypes of very concrete ideas. I think at the end of the day, they could understand their system better and also the different needs of other stakeholders. And the tools they came up with showed the direction they want to go.